<laughs> r slash rules horror posted by you slash little underscore void underscore boy green ridge garden security guard rules hello new nighttime security guard if you're reading this you should know that we have accepted your application and gratefully await your overnight service at our humble garden. Before you get started, a few rules must be followed during your time within our happy farm. Do not forget the rules. If you do so we cannot guarantee your safety. If you write them down put them in your breast pocket. If you don't have one get one, it's the only way you can keep them. 1. Do not be late. Our schedule is quite strict and we request you arrive at 8 p.m. or no later than 8.05. If your vehicle hasn't arrived by then, they will get impatient, and come to you instead. 2. The gate is rusty, if it squeals as you open it, immediately enter the visitor center and do not leave until the whispers stop. 3. Do not turn lights on it is extremely important you do not turn any lights on during your stay. Flashlights are okay and encouraged, but do not under any circumstances touch any light switches. 4. There are 4 areas you are required to check regularly. These being the visitor center, the greenhouse, the orchard, and the path. You must check them in that order every 2 hours until 6 a.m. the next morning. 5. If you hear crying in the visitor center, do not make eye contact. She is very self-conscious about her appearance and will attack. Just stay out of her path as you make your rounds, and do not draw her attention. 6. You may hear scratching along the concrete while moving from each area. It is not an animal. Make no indication you notice its presence. 7. If as you look around the greenhouse you see a flower labeled Silas's regret, Immediately exit the greenhouse and do not re-enter for another 15 minutes. That flower does not exist. If you exit and you can see a man in the visitor center with a large smile, pray to your God. Silas doesn't take to intruders. He will pursue you for the next 30 minutes. 8. There are exactly 24 trees in the orchard. Count them extremely carefully. If you count a 25th, leave before it begins to bleed. If it has already begun to bleed, immediately begin checking in every direction. The game has begun. 9. Every hour you must check your watch or other method of tracking the time. It is imperative you keep track of the hours. If you miss one you will miss more, and you will never leave. 9.5. If your clock is missing hours, tell them to knock it off. It's no fun if you're aware. 10. You will see a shed out by the corner of the property. Never enter the shed. No matter how loud the screams get. The alternative is worse than death. Ignore the blood. 11. While on the path you may hear footsteps following you. Continue your job as normal. That is Manny, he is harmless. If you hear two sets of footsteps, that is no longer Manny. It is no longer harmless. If this happens shine your light at it but do not look at it. It will think it's daytime and hide. If you look at it your night will become significantly worse. 12. In between rounds, you are safe for the most part. Just stick to rules 6, 9, and 10, and do not forget to continue your rounds. They will stay in check as long as you are. 13. Beyond the perimeter fence you will see eyes. They are harmless, but do not divide your attention regardless. 14. If you are suddenly missing your shoes, they are on top of the greenhouse. One will typically be hanging down and thus be easy to grab. Do not enter the greenhouse unless it is next on your rounds. 15. Occasionally you will find some personal items missing, they will be in the shed. Hopefully whatever is lost isn't important. 16. Near the end of your shift when the sun begins to rise, do your final rounds as normal, but do not interact with the hands sprouting from the ground. They are stronger than you. Thank you for your application. We are very exited to have a new member of our Green Ridge family. You must not forget the rules. They are designed with you in mind, for your safety. Note that by the time you have finished reading this, rule 1. Is in effect. Do not be late. Next story of this video. Posted by you slash opionated underscore win win. Hi there. Welcome to my sleepover. I'm glad to see you here safe and sound. I hope the journey wasn't too long. Now, here are a set of rules that I've kindly written down for you. You must follow these rules as they are made for your own good. Now, please come in. Also, we don't wear shoes in our house, so shoes off. Feel free to leave your luggage at the door and sit down as I run you through the rules. You internally sigh. Hearing Ren's long introduction. Ren was the new weird kid from your extra Chinese class at school. He had many rumors about him, some saying that he came from a cannibalistic tribe, or that he had kidnapped many girls and had to shift to avoid the police. Your friends had bet you $100 to befriend him and going to his house. You being a broke high school student, ecstatically accepted the offer, 
not believing the stupid rumor. Two weeks later, you were at his house for a sleepover. You plastered a smile on your face and did as he instructed. Sitting down next to you, he takes out the paper with the rules and reads them out loud. The Blackwell's family rules. 1. Take your shoes off before entering. My parents are very particular about how things are done. 2. Greet my parents and my two brothers when we go past the living room. My parents despise impolite children. Trust me, you will hate getting scolded or reprimanded by mother, however, father might let you off the hook this once. Wait, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what are your brother's names? You ask out of curiosity. They don't like their real names. So I'll just tell you their nicknames. They are she and Sue. You'll know who's who when you see them. Also, together we are called she Renzu. He explains. I hope I'm not being rude by asking this question, but I've never heard of a European family having Asian names. May I know WH? You know, I don't know why you are trying to know so much about our names, but it's annoying me as I don't know much either. Now please, let me continue with the rules. He snaps. You apologize as he continues with the rules. 3. Make sure to follow me, and don't stray away. Ignore my brothers if they call you. However, if mother gets up, stay in your place and look straight ahead. She is getting up and making sure that I didn't invite a hooligan to our house. 4. We can now chill and play games till 7.45 PM. After that, we must go down to eat dinner. We only eat meat for dinner, so I hope that you are not vegetarian. Don't leave any food on your plate. Father worked very hard to cook us this meal, and it is rude to waste food. Also, you must thank mother and father after the meal to show your gratitude. 5. Bedtime is at 10.30 PM we must be asleep by 11 PM and in bed by 10.30. Father hates it when somebody is awake after 11. That's all the rules. Now let's head up. Remember to greet my family. Glad that the long wait is over, you get up and follow Ren. You internally laugh at the stupid rules but decide to go along with his silly rules. As you walk through the living room, you see Hushi and Tsu, pulling out a puppet's limbs. You feel weirded out, just realizing that even Ren's siblings were freaky oddballs. Remembering that you have to greet everyone, you introduce yourself and greet everyone individually. Seeing Ren's mother get up, you freeze along with Ren, as a chill runs down your spine. She comes up to you and touches your cheek. Oh my, such soft and tender skin. I see that you finally have high standards Ren. Seeing Ren visibly relax, you feel calmer. Would you like to play with us? Ren never plays with us even though we are super fun. She and Tsu exclaim simultaneously. Thankfully, Ren retorts back saying that you both are busy and drags you upstairs. I'm sorry if you felt uncomfortable with what my mom said. It's just that she used to be a dermatologist and is really fascinated by how some people's skin can naturally be clear and soft. On that topic. Did you know that my dad used to be the head chef for a Michelin star restaurant? He gushes. You hum in response as you both enter his bedroom. You look around his room, expecting to see some weird artifacts, only to see a regular room with a gaming PC and a PS4 with two controllers. Ren tells you to sit down and choose a game. Excited, you both hop on and play games the entire day and completely forget about the weird experience downstairs. Before either of you realize, Ren's mother calls you both down for dinner. Man I had fun. Although I'm sad that we can't play more, I am feeling slightly hungry. You say? Same here. Now, let's not keep mother waiting. Ren pauses. Actually, I have to close everything and pack it up. So you should head down so as to not anger mother. You agree and go downstairs, heading to the dining room and taking a seat. You see she and say hi. Fresh meat. She grins as he points the butter knife towards you. You give him an awkward smile in return as Ren's mother comes along to apologize. Honey. That is not something that you should say to anyone especially our guest. She reprimands she as he scowls at me. Ren comes down and sits next to me as his father serves us meat stew. All of us dig in. Loving the flavor of the unknown meat, you ask, may I know what meat this is? Ren's father gives you a sharp look, stating that they only eat the freshest meat. You feel flustered not knowing why he got offended. You try apologizing, only for your tongue to feel numb. Your entire body feels paralyzed as your vision goes blurry. Freaking out, you desperately try to move, to no avail. You poor thing. You listened to everything and did as I said, without even suspecting anything. How gullible. You didn't even question my mother's weird remarks, or even wonder if the rumors about me could be true. 
However, I loathe you for being so pathetic that you befriend me for money. You filthy, detestable pig. However, your soft skin will be quite delicious when cooked with a maple glaze. You should have paid attention in Chinese class. You would have known what Shi Renzu meant. You truly are pathetic. ATL East you will make a delicious steak. Have a nice fucking life Daniel. Those were the last words you hear, before you feel a hard force hit the back of your head.